Welcome to Oklahoma Gardening. Right now I'm packaging up seeds that I've saved through the summer and the fall to keep for next year. And I'd like to share with you some tips on how to preserve them in the very best way so that you'll have good viability for next year. Right here I have some straw flower seed that I've shaken out of flowers in my garden and have written on the container. This is a, just a, a Ziploc type plastic bag the name and the date and the fact that it's an annual that requires full sun. You can also store seeds in just a, a paper envelope such as this. And here I have some cypress vine seed. And I've written on here some planting instructions because these are seed that a friend of mine gave me. And so I'll know next year when I plant them in the garden, I'll know exactly how to plant them and what they are, best of all. Don't ever put seed away without labeling what it is, especially if you put it in just a plain container, such as these film containers. You can use just about any container to store seed, such as plastic or metal. Glass is really the best, though. And if you have some old jars, such as these, this old canning jar, that's just about ideal, because it keeps out the moisture and It'll ensure that the seeds are kept safe until next year. And the best place to store seeds is in the freezer. This will keep the seed cold and dry. Now, for some of you who are harvesting seed from the garden, the seed that you bring in the house may have a lot of moisture in it already. And so the way to dry that out is to treat it with silica gel. Put your seed into paper or little cloth sacks and put an equal amount of silica gel crystals into a container with that. You can get these crystals at most hobby stores or places where they sell supplies for drying flowers. They don't cost much and they are reusable. The crystals will be a bright cobalt blue when you first put the seeds in with them. And as they absorb moisture, they'll turn a deep pink. When they get very deep pink, remove the seeds, put the silica gel, in a warm oven to drive off the moisture and then put the seeds back in there until the gel stops turning pink. That means that you will have gotten the maximum amount of moisture out of those seeds that you need to to store them properly so they won't mold. Now when storing seeds away, you might like me, I end up with many, many packets by the end of the year and it can get very confusing. So I like to group them together. In this can, I've bunched together all my cold crop seeds such as cabbage and broccoli and cauliflower. So they'll be all grouped together in a couple of months when I go to sow the seed for springtime. And again, either a metal can or plastic is, or glass is the best for storing them. Now when you take seeds out of the freezer, they're going to collect condensation on them when you bring them into a warm room. So remember, if you're going to open up a seed container and just take a few seeds out to sow for transplants, let that container come up to room temperature first. This may take a few hours. Then take the lid off, take a few seeds out, close the lid up again, and put it back in the freezer. This way you will have reduced the chance of introducing more moisture back into the container. Now a few tips on saving seeds from your garden for next year. We do not recommend saving hybrid seed because very often the plants that are hybrids in the garden, first of all, may not set seed. Second of all, the seed will never come true to type because it is a hybrid. You'll never get the same results twice on that seed. Now, if you have some open pollinated seed of peas or peppers or something like this that you know is an old variety that is not a hybrid, you can go ahead and save that. On crops such as vine crops, like cucumbers and watermelon, you need to be careful in the garden and not pollinate, not let the seed get cross-pollinated in the garden. For instance, if you're going to grow one kind of, of heirloom watermelon, an old variety that your family has carried on from year to year, and you want to keep the strain pure, don't grow any other watermelon with that. And to help you understand better about saving seed in your garden, whether it's heirloom varieties or just varieties you want to keep from year to year, you might want to join the Seed Savers Exchange. This is an organization that was started a few years ago up in Iowa 
and their whole purpose is to maintain genetic diversity among vegetable seeds across the country. And it's an exchange among home gardeners just like you, where if you have an heirloom variety in your family that you want to share with others, you can exchange it through being a membership in the seed exchange. To join them, you might want to write for information sending a self-addressed stamped envelope to Seed Savers Exchange, Kent Wheely, Director, 203 Rural Avenue, Decorah, Iowa, and the zip code is 52101. Now annually, the Seed Savers Exchange sends out a yearbook listing in every state who has various varieties of what seeds, and some of them are varieties I'd never even heard of, and ones that you might want to try in your own garden. So you might think about joining that, but best of all, if you are saving seeds, be sure that you store them properly, whole and dry.